Sneakers, a men's style essential that every guy should own. The problem is that a lot of you guys own them and wear the wrong sneakers because there's a thin line between looking stylish, smooth, and fresh and looking like a huge dumbass. Today, guys, I'm going over some sneakers that you should never wear. And real quick, guys, before we get into this, just in case you want to check out any of the minimal leather sneakers that I'm going to show you, they all came from Thursday Boots. I just recently got a new collection. They're gum soles, guys. Um, unbelievably sexy perfection look how clean and sexy that sneaker is I loved it so much that I actually got the same one but with like a blue little end heel cap right it comes in a few other colors as well just to give me a little more style a little bit more sexiness here's another pair that I absolutely love right a little bit of distressing on the toe box tan amazing. I'm going to have a link down below. If you're interested in checking out the best sneakers on the market for the best price, you got to hit that link and check out Thursday Boots. They have cut out the middleman, which means you're going to get a premium level quality product for an incredible price. Like literally, how much would you think these sneakers cost? $250, 300 wrong! $129 freaking dollars. Gentlemen, if you're in the market, you need to hit that link down below. They've got a lot of new styles. This is one of them. Here's another one, and here's another one. Something else that they've got new are denim ass jackets. Gentlemen, if you dig denim jackets, Thursday Boots has just sourced these from Portugal. Crazy premium denim for a crazy incredible price. The denim is just so crazy high quality. A little bit of stretch in there. It feels and looks incredible. I'm telling you, gentlemen, the sleeve length is perfect. If you're looking for a premium denim jacket, guys, hit the link. Grab one now because they are going to sell out. they got three different options. They've got the distressed, medium blue, they've got dark blue, undistressed, and then they've also got black, which is sexy. Speaking of sexy, let's talk about some shoes that make you unsexy. The first sneaker that an adult man like you should never wear are athletic shoes with non-athletic clothing. Guys, one of the biggest mistakes that I see adult men making is wearing like running shoes or athletic shoes with like jeans or chinos or like flat front khakis or like shorts and they're like, oh, check me out, Janice. Aren't I stylish? I'm all athletic and sporty. I'm like, no, you look like a huge dork. Number two is dirty white sneakers. Gentlemen, here's the deal. White sneakers, amazing. We've already talked about that. Every dude needs a Pair. But if they're dirty, if they're discolored, if you got scratches and scuffs, you look like a huge slob. Gentlemen, it's not just the leather, it's also the sole. You gotta make sure they are white if they are white. Alright, so check it out. These are a pair of my Thursday boots that I wear literally like four or five times a week. You can see the soles are dirty, right? But look how clean the leather is, right? The soles are also clean. The way I keep it that way is with something called a magic eraser, right? It's this little spongy thing you can find in pretty much any grocery store cleaning section. You use it, right? You just go over any area that might have a little dirt and it keeps them super clean. You can also use them on a sole like this, but if you're somebody that doesn't even want to F with that, right? The gum sole is one of my favorite classic looks. And the cool thing about these, you basically don't see dirt. The next thing I want to talk about is bulky white sneakers like Air Force Ones. Now, if you're a young dude, the Air Force One I think looks fine, but in my opinion, if you're an adult man, you want to look for something that's a little bit leaner, right, in terms of an aesthetic. The problem with the Air Force Ones and big bulky sneakers is that they make you look short. They also make you look more casual. The other downside to wearing something like an Air Force One or something a bit more casual is that it literally is impossible to dress up, right? If you're looking to dress a little bit more stylishly, but still rock a casual will look with sneakers, you want to make sure that the sneakers are a little bit dressier. Look what you can do with a great pair of minimal sneakers, right? Dress up a suit, right? It's a casual way to rock that suit. One of the things that a lot of guys struggle with is how do you wear a suit when it's not like a dressy formal occasion, right? This is a great example, all right? The suit is a nice light color. It's a lightweight fabric, perfect for summer, t-shirt underneath. And then check it out, the heel, right? Little navy blue for a little coordination and extra sexiness. I'm telling you, they've got some other colors other than navy. I think they have red, possibly green, maybe black. Anyway, guys, check it out. It is a perfect outfit for like a summer barbecue or you're going out for the evening, right? You want to lose the jacket? Bang, right? Killing it. Stylish, sexy, clean. The next type of shoe that you, as a stylish adult man, should not wear, possibly, is the Jordan 1. Now, let me, let me clarify something. Jordan 1s are one of my all-time 
favorite sneakers. They are sexy. They are stylish. They come in a lot of badass colors. But most older adult men look stupid because they're not rocking the appropriate fit. Gentlemen, it's all about coordination. If you're going to be rocking Jordan 1s, you got to know how to rock Jordan 1s. I'm not saying it can't be done. I'm just saying most of you aren't doing it. Another great option for sneakers that are a little bit retro inspired, but just have a little attitude and edge for an adult dude is the Air Maxes. Air Maxes come in a ton of different colorways. And the other cool thing about the Air Max is that you can dress it up a little bit, right? You could rock them with jeans and it's not as bad as something like super athletic. Because they are retro inspired, they are going to have a little bit more of a stylized look, but they definitely look great. But what doesn't look great on most older dudes are ultra stylized shoes. They're super trendy shoes, right? These golden gooses I bought and I was like, yo, I think they're super cool, right? They have like a retro look, but honestly, most dudes aren't going to be able to pull this off, right? The red sort of sequins. It's an okay look, but for most dudes, I would definitely not waste the money. The other downside to rocking something that's a little bit trendier is that typically it's going to be a little bit more expensive, right? These ugly ass sneakers literally were like $500. And when I saw them, I was like, yeah, I could rock those. I put them on. I'm like, yeah, they even make me a little bit taller. I got them. And you know how many times I wore them? Like twice, which means I wasted 500 bucks. But I didn't learn my lesson. And I bought another pair of expensive sneakers that are kind of what I call look at me sneakers. All right. Once again, I was in the store and I was like, yeah, because one of the things with shopping is that it gets your endorphins going, right? All the fun and excitement and sexiness of buying it. And you're like, yeah, they're cool, right? You put them on in the store and the sales associates like, yeah, oh my God, they look so good. I'm going to make out with you, right? And you're like, yeah, really? All right, I'll take them. The truth is shoes shouldn't be all like, hey, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me, right? They really should just tie the outfit together. But when you rock a pair like this, everybody who sees you thinks that you're a huge douche. This guy, exactly. Instead, what would look a lot better is something like this, right? It's still suede. It's still that like tan color, right? But it's a lot more aesthetic. It's also going to work a lot better for years because the truth is you don't want to buy something that is trendy for like a season. And then check it out, right? Instead of wearing a pair of shoes that's like, hey, I'm a dumbass, right? You're like, yo, I'm smooth, sexy, and stylish. I'm telling you, these suede Thursdays are so sexy, right? They're crazy comfortable. I absolutely love them. Something else I've been loving, guys, are these denim jackets. The denim jacket is also another men's style essential I think every guy should have in his wardrobe. It's one of the most rugged jackets a dude can own, kind of like the summer springtime version of a leather jacket, in my opinion. It's rugged, it's masculine, but it's just a little bit understated. Now, a lot of guys are like, hey, how do I wear it? Simple, right? All those great lightweight cotton pants or chinos they pair perfectly with denim, regardless of the color or the wash of the denim. All right, for me, my favorite look, a simple t-shirt, cotton pants, pair of Thursday sneakers. I'm killing it every day of the week. You are killing your style if you're rocking retro sneakers in the inappropriate time, all right? So these gazelles are a great retro sneaker, but once again, it's super casual. It's a sporty look. It works if you're going to the gym or you're running around on the weekends, but you gotta have a sporty outfit on with it. You shouldn't be wearing these with like jeans and like a polo shirt. You look stupid. Instead, rock something like these, right? Simple, clean, a minimal aesthetic, but it works with with pretty much any outfit other than workout clothes.